A&R Manufacturing in Bourne End in Buckinghamshire. Now, Nick, you invested a couple of years ago in a Herco machine with an Aroa pallet system. Why did you go for this? Uh, I saw that we were coming towards a skill gap. Um, we had an aging workforce. We had a, um, aging machines. We'd always used Herco, and Herco was, have always been um, a very successful machine to us. Um, so, but yeah, it was the, it was the it was to stay competitive in the marketplace. I saw that as the future. We had to go to the automation. You just said you saw it as a future, but you actually physically saw it out in China, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I was out, out in China a couple of years ago and just seeing where they'd moved from, say, 30 years ago, it was all reliant on, oh yeah, they could make for peanuts in, in value, but that was with, with people, but now they weren't. They, they were wanting the same machines, the same processes that we have here. So it allows us to compete out of the UK. Um, it allows us to be flexible because we don't have to do the batch sizes like they, the Chinese have to do the batch size to, to make it economic to ship it over here. The cell consists of a Herco VMX30 UHSI, which is the ultra high speed spindle, 18,000 RPM using a HSK 63A uh, tooling. 40 tool, tool pockets. Um, attached to it is the Aero 80, 48 pallet system, uh, allowing us to run automated 24 7. Having the Herco VMX 30 combined with the Aero 80, it allows us to service a small amount of customers that require a larger volume of components um, and having it set up in a way where we can chop and change regardless of batch size. We could do a quick one-off for any customer uh, or carry on with a few hundred off. It's a very flexible system for you, isn't it? Absolutely. Once set, uh, we try and program so that we use the same tools so we don't have to keep on changing tools. We have one home position for the whole system and it allows us to be very flexible. Be honest then, how has the whole cell integrated itself into your company, shall we say? Well, because it's a Herco, we've been running Hercos since the inception of our engineering department, and uh, it's fitted really well. It's a familiar system. Uh, we use solid cam, which we run all of our machines from now, and it was a very natural progression into the five axis um, world of machining. And have Herco helped you? Because it's a cell, of course, with the Aurora connected to it. It's quite a jump, isn't it, from just having a singular machine? Yeah, obviously, normally you have an operator with the machine at all times. This one with the Aurora robot has allowed us to automate fully 24-7 production, lights out manufacturing. Uh, we've even had installed from Herco a remote dialer which basically texts whoever you need to, to say if the machine's had an issue or not, and uh, allows us to come in during lights out if we need to. Off camera, you said to me that it's more of a partnership that you've had with Herco with this yeah. purchase. <clears throat> so is that why? Um, yeah, it's uh, basically, it was something that Herco said that they've done for someone else. So we thought that was a great idea. We got them to come in, install it, we trialled it for a few weeks, realised there was various issues that it didn't cover, so they came back in, working in a partnership together to resolve those issues, and uh, we seem to have a fully working system now. So could you do what you're doing now without this? Could you be no. as competitive? No, you no, no, we would not be competitive. Um, we wouldn't, we'd have the skill gap issue, um, this has taken us into industrial 4.0. We can measure in cycle. We know that, that we're going to come in back in the morning and the product that we've made through the night shift, through the night unmanned, is within tolerance, meets customer spec. So, they're, yeah, they're, they're, we wouldn't have done that. We wouldn't be able to do that. In fact, um, we were running three shifts through this factory with manpower. Now it's 728 hours a month 
uh, 24 hours a day, unmanned. So has the cell, the Herco and the Aroa lived up to their expectations for you? Yes, definitely. Um, yes, when, when, I, when it was sold to me from uh, Herco, John Farley at Herco, basically sold it to me, telling me yeah, it would do this, 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 and make the tea. Oh, nice, yeah. And <laughs> knowing John as John, I sort of mm, pinch of salt. But actually, it's, it's lived up to its name. There is, I've been so impressed that it, there's not anything that I can complain about to say, oh, it didn't do that, doesn't do that. And the reliability of it has been second to none. And you'd expand it? Yeah, definitely expand it. Yes, we could, we could expand it, putting another, another Herco on, um, onto the other side of it. Um, we'd be looking at using the larger pallet size of the rower. So yeah, we've uh, yeah. I think if COVID hadn't hadn't uh, if we didn't have the COVID, we would probably be further down the line with more automation within the factory by now.